Hello all, welcome to Selenium Python training series. In this session, as part of PyTest, I am going to explain and practically demonstrate about expected fail and expected pass in built marker in PyTest. So let's get started. If we specify this inbuilt marker before a test method that is going to fail, then in the results, that test method will come under expected fail instead of normal fail. Okay, instead of failing, it will come under the expected fail category. And if you specify the same inbuilt marker before a test method that is going to pass, then instead of that particular test method coming under pass category, it will come under expected pass category. PyTest has some extra categories in the results. Instead of only fail, pass, and skip, right? We also have expected fail and expected fall. And if you specify this inbuilt marker before the test methods, which are going to fail or pass, Instead of they coming in the results as pass or fail, they'll come under expected fail and expected pass categories, okay? So let me demonstrate this inbuilt marker for you in this session. So how does this inbuilt marker will look like? This is how it looks like. Xfail is the name of the inbuilt marker. If you specify this before a test method that's going to pass, instead of coming in the results as pass, it will come as expected pass. If you specify the same inbuilt uh, marker before a test method that's going to fail, instead of the test getting failed, it will come under expected fail category in the results, okay? So expected failure, avoid failing in the results. If you want to avoid failing that particular test in the results, you specify this inbuilt marker before the test method that's going to fail. Instead of failing, it will come under expected failure category. And instead of uh, passing in the results, instead of avoiding passing in the results, if you specify this uh, X fail inbuilt marker before a test methods that are going to pass, instead of coming as pass in the results, it will come under expected pass section okay let me demonstrate this so that you'll understand more about this uh, inbuilt marker that is expel inbuilt marker i'll switch to this uh, pycharm id where we have the sample python file containing three test methods i want to run this uh, python file okay with the help of pytest so before doing that so here there are three tests which are specified with some user defined markers like smoke and integration here an inbuilt marker skip is uh, mentioned as part of the previous session so instead of skip i'll provide here dot x fail okay i am just changing the inbuilt marker from skip to x fail uh, this test method is actually going to fall uh, going to fail okay because assert fail false is there means this test method is going to fail we know that it's going to fail instead of uh, this test method coming and falling in the results as fail i'm just mentioning the marker as x fail so it will not come under the fail category rather it will come under expected fail category okay we know that in advance that this test method is going to fail and we are putting that in the X fail category. That is a expected failure category. Similarly, this test method is going to pass. We know that in advance. Okay. And instead of, uh, instead of uh, seeing this in the uh, pass category. Okay. So since it is an expected pass, I'll just write X fail here. That is inbuilt uh, X fail marker. So this test method, which is going to come under the pass category by default in the results will now come under the expected pass category. Okay. Now run this test, uh, this Python file containing these three test methods. The first one will come under the pass category. The second one will come under the expected fail instead of fail. And third one will come under the expected pass instead of normal pass. So only one will come under the pass. The remaining two will come under expected fail and expected pass. Okay. So I'll write pytest. Py okay. I have to run this test uh, that is there in this uh, Python file. Test underscore sample file dot py hyphen RA or something you just do and press enter. Three tests will run. Okay. Total three out of three tests and the Python file will run in that first test. Okay. Is falling under pass category. Okay. Normal pass category. It's so a second one, which is expected to come under failure is not coming under the fail category. Instead, it is coming under the X failed category, expected failure category. And third one, which has to by default come under the pass category is now coming under the X passer category because we specified this in build. Okay, inbuilt marker known as X fail. As you already know, if you specify that, it will avoid the failure in the results. It will avoid pass in the results. Instead, you, instead the test methods will come under the expected failure and expected pass category in the results. So that's all about this inbuilt marker and how to use this and the purpose of using this inbuilt marker in PyTest. So that's all for this session. See you in the next session. Thank you. Bye bye.